How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, finishing up the GTA San Andreas walkthrough style videos. If you've noticed, the past couple of months I have been posting four videos a week. And I'm doing that because I generated or generated a lot of content, you know, recording this game. And if I continued on at just two videos a week, um, I'd probably be posting through the rest of the year almost, or the rest of 2021, with just GTA videos. I figured, why not just go to four videos a week? Uh, I got the content, I can upload it, and, you know, if I have to switch back to two videos a week, well, then I'll do that. But right now, it's been, I've been recording these over winter, and so, um, in recording these and editing them, I have a lot of extra time, because nothing to do during winter except play video games. So this next video, um, it's the second that CJ does with Sweet to get back the neighborhood. And in Beat Down with B-Dub, or Beat Up, I mentioned that with the gang war, you have to be aggressive. And I'll talk a little more about the gang war and starting gang wars after I do this mission that is called Grove for Life. You gotta love your hood like you love your homies. It's always been that way, and ain't nothing ever gonna change. I done seen it all. What up, CJ? What's up? Yeah. I'm glad to see things back the way they used to be. Nah, it ain't like it was, but it's gonna be. We still gotta get everybody in the hood back together. I was just telling these cats what's important. We gotta let everybody know Grove is back on the map. Hold up. Don't you think we ought to take it easy? What? You know I got other things in mind. Commitments I made. Can y'all step outside for a minute? I need to talk to him. If you don't get this shit together, what you think this place gonna look like? You always did real good leaving jobs half finished. That's cold, sweet. Man, we can't take care of this from no bitch-ass rapper's mansion. Look. The world's bigger than this hood. This is where our lives begin and where it's probably going to end. And don't forget where you came from, Mr. Uppity-ass nigga. Now that ain't fair. Oh. Somebody just crossed out all the writing on the wall, disrespected your hood, and you act like you don't give a fuck. That ain't fair. Okay. Have it your way. Come on. So you got a plan? Yeah, I got a plan. We're going to roll in the ballers' hood and take it back for the Grove. Okay, let's get those motherfuckers. So CJ and Sweet are going to go and start a turf war with the Balas. And this makes it a little more difficult because... Now CJ has to try and protect Sweet. And the easiest way is you see a group of gang guys, you shoot them up, and you take them down. And hopefully protect Sweet. Now, the real secret to a gang war is to be aggressive. Use the AK or the M4. Those are the best weapons, and you keep the other gang members coming at a distance. Like these guys, you shoot them, and you keep them at a distance, and you keep Sweet near you, because otherwise he's going to take hits, and the more Sweet dies, you got to start over again. I mean... This is what makes it a little difficult. So you bring Sweet up the street toward the heart or the body armor icon, 
and you make the gang members chase you, like right now, and you just gun them down, and I just shot Sweet. Again, trying to protect Sweet makes this a little more difficult. And you see in the distance, there's the body armor. Um, right now, you don't need it, but one of the good things is you want to collect the weapons and the money of the other gang members, and yeah, revitalize the body armor. And now the gang members are coming. You don't want to be out in the open like CJ currently is, but he has Sweet backing him up, and the gangs are coming from run one direction. And plus you have body armor and heart icons to get CJ healed back up and armored back up. And that's what you want to do with gang wars, is you want to get the body armor and the heart icons and kind of do a sort of aggressive take down two or three neighborhoods and then go back and save and again I'll touch on that once I do and show you the initiation of a gang war etc this is just sweet and CJ taking down and starting a war to take back some neighborhoods which ironically I had already taken when I was doing some gang wars Now, you see a group of gang members clustered. You come up and you shoot them. That's how you provoke a gang war. Again, I'll start the deal with this when I show you. Auto lock kind of stinks, but and that can get you into trouble. But now you got a guard suite, and the bad guys are coming from the front. And you got to draw a suite back so that you can protect him. And he just stands around and flashes gang signs. He doesn't do much. He's a big talker. I mean, why is he not shooting at gang members? I mean, he's not doing much of anything except standing there. And you use the armor and the health to help you out here. And I'll let this continue through. You can watch as CJ dominates. Hey, let's bail back to Grove Street. Actually, it's CJ's winning, and you can use the gang members. They dump money and weapons, and you can get the body armor, which I'm just going to toss a gang member out of his car, then grab the body armor, and now take Sweet back to the neighborhood. Yep, Grove Street family handling those ballers. Johnson boys rolled right over. Okay, dog, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm beat. Here, I took this from one of those baller fools. Probably drug money. Here's your half. Okay, as I mentioned during Grove for Life, um, the AK or the M4 is the best weapon to use in starting a gang war and fighting a gang war. Just firepower and they take down enemies really well. Since the Johnson house is close by and you need to be in um, Los Santos, um, flying out to the Four Dragons, getting more M4 ammunition, etc., is not real realistic. So you just use the Johnson household as a base and you get as much AK-47 ammo as you can. Now if you look on the map, and I will show the map here, 
you see different color territories. There's the Johnson House, then there's these pink and yellow um, colors. The pinkish, purplish, and yellow indicate that they're Bala or the Vagos territory. And those are the gangs you have to defeat. You don't have to, you know, take over all the territories, but you're better off taking them over three by three and in chunks because the more territories you take over, the less hassle you have with your territories being in dispute or your hoods being invaded and you waste time and effort fighting these hood wars. One of the things you do when you take over neighborhoods is it gives you more money. Another hint, store a car in the garage. Otherwise, you have to find a car, steal a car, and that gives more opportunity for an opposing gang to start a hood war, and that's a waste of time and money. And, well, not money, but weapons and resources and time. Like, our hood is under attack. Now you got to go to that hood, fight to keep it, and then turn around, and you could possibly end up getting CJ badly injured or losing body armor, and you got to refuel and get more body armor. And that is, again, a lot of waste of time. What you want to try and do is when you start a, a hood war, a gang war, you want to go two or three neighborhoods because the more you're starting a gang war, the less likely someone else will try and take over your territory. Again, you got to do this in chunks, and this is a little weird in this area. Drive in here, and now I'm going to get out, and I'm going to be prepared to fight. And right there, you just start shooting. Who cares about civilians? Who cares about other people? And you've showed them. And now you want to get some body armor, which usually appears during gang wars. And there's also a heart icon, which again fuels you, gives you the energy or hit points or whatever. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take CJ over to another neighborhood and start a war. And I'm going to bring him over to this neighborhood to start a war because once you start a gang war, your police icons disappear. And again, I'm going to have CJ up. Oh, he's going to shoot. And sorry, started shooting police, but you've provoked a gang war. And again, the police just walk away when a gang war happens. And you want to get the gangs coming at you to where they're lined up like in a row just coming at you. Like right now, you take down that guy and then these guys. And again, the auto, yeah, that kind of sucks. So you get these guys coming at you and you have to be patient. Let them come to you. Now, there's a first wave, and then there's a second wave where they have more powerful weapons. And there's the heart icon. And again, I'm going to run back here and make the other gang come to me. And once they start appearing, you can start shooting them, and they come at you one by one. Again, you got to be patient. and Again, just let them come at you, and you got to keep distance so their weapons don't affect you. And these guys are just trickling out, so uh, just be patient. And I'm going to see what's going on here. Maybe they're afraid to come, so I'm going to run over here. And you want to keep distance, because they have worse weapons, so... Once they start getting within like AKs and stuff like that, which will be in the third wave, then it gets a little more dangerous. And you want to keep them at 
a distance. You don't need health. Now look for the body armor. Yeah, okay. I'm running away because I don't want the posing gang to close on me. And I'm going to get over here, flip to the AK, or just use this submachine gun because there's plenty of ammo. And, yep, I took a few guys out with an exploding car. These guys are coming. I'll take them down. And, again, they have more advanced weaponry with each wave. And you see these guys have AKs themselves. And, yep, that, that's not going to work. I hate flipping through these weapons. I just used the silenced pistol to take that guy down. And the machine gun to take that guy down and grab their weapons. The hood is yours. And there's the body armor. Now, again, using the body armor and the heart, you get CJ back up to his maximum strength. And I'm going to run over here and I'm going to look for other gang members to start a second war. If you die, well, okay. You. Go to the hospital. There's a drug dealer, so I'm going to take him down. They have lots of money. And if you start a gang war and you die, well, you go to the hospital. You don't try and reload where you saved. And the reason is you're going to wind up with, here we go, another gang war. And again, it comes in waves. And these people are going nuts. But you can go to the hospital, like I said, if you die during a gang war, go to the hospital. Any territory you've already conquered is still yours. And I'm going to lure these guys out. You want to control distance and space in a gang war. And having superior firepower, like the AK or the M4, is that much better. And so... Once you get to the hospital and you heal after dying during a gang war, get body armor and save. Again, two or three territories in a gang war. You start one, and there's the body armor and the health icon. So CJ can take some hits from the guys coming behind him. And there you go. Second wave survived. I'm going to try and take this guy down. You don't want to have extra guys. And again, two or three neighborhoods at a time. And you wind up, you can pretty much take a lot of neighborhoods down very quickly. But if you take two or three neighborhoods, save. Go back to CJ's house and save. As you can see, they have more advanced weaponry. I'm going to take these guys down, get CJ healed up, and then get him back home. Again, you control distance, like this. The hood is yours. Armor up, health up, don't need it. And take a car, or maybe run over and start another gang war. But I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I hope this was helpful to you. As always, thanks for stopping by. Cluckety fuck, place your order. Don't choke on the bone fragments.